Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to Muslim Playlist channel. In this video, you will know about a woman who is fighting against Islamophobes. She shared her feelings with us. Let's listen to her words. I will get threats after this video, but I do not care. Transparency is key and I come from a hateful past. The reason why I'm here today is because I used to be there back then. A part of the problem and the part of hurting so many people because I was trapped in some kind of structure mass psychosis that made me believe that blaming everything in the society on Islam and on immigration. What's the right way to do it? I've learned to forgive myself, but that doesn't mean that it's over. One of the main reasons for Islamophobia is a mass-controlled form of hate that consumes the individual and grows with the group. There are so many people that I want to apologize to, and I'm doing that today, but constantly working against what I once believed in. We have a long way to go until we can say that we live in a free, safe world, but change always starts with the individual person. I've done my part, and I just want everybody who is still there to know that. It's not too late, and that whatever pain you have inside, you will heal when you choose the act of kindness and love. Islamophobia is one of the world's most dangerous constellations. I know because I used to be one of them. Between 2014 and 2016, I was a very vocal voice against immigration in Sweden. I blamed all of my social and mental problems on other people instead of handling them myself. Like-minded people reached out to me, and instead of dealing with our problems and helping each other out, we started blaming people even more and more. We blamed kind-hearted people, loving people, and people who are just thriving for freedom. It was one rally specifically that I will never forget. We organized a rally that was against Afghani refugees. And on site, we were met by another rally. The people we met are the people that are fighting together with us today. As we continued screaming horrible things, we were met by the most important answer ever love. Instead of answering us with anger, all they did was this. That specific moment was going to change my life forever. So I started questioning myself, and I realized that the hateful person right there was actually me. I was there to create darkness, while all they were trying to do was to create love and light. It all took a turning point, and I left the movement. I started studying, and I started educating myself. But most of all, I started talking to the people that I once showed hate towards. It all resulted in a five-year-long depression. The realization of knowing how many people that I've hurt on the way was actually the thing that caused the depression. After years of recovery and therapy, I decided to make it my life cause to fight racism and Islamophobia. I've learned to forgive myself to the extent that I can live with myself. But I cannot live with the fact that this is still going on in the world right now and that it is a source to the fact that so many people are dying, that so many people are falling victims of hate crime, and that people are actually afraid to even exist in this society. I used to be one of them, and that's why I'm warning you with every piece of my heart. Don't let hate consume you. Educate yourself and talk to people. I'm only one person, and we still have a long way to go. But it is not too late to choose love, over fear and bitterness. Together, we can end racism and Islamophobia because it starts with you. This was her wonderful words that she shared with us. May Allah guide her towards righteous path and help her to fight with Islamophobia. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and share this videos of Muslim playlist. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.